Hey everyone, I'm back in my little room making the the food videos again. Today it's going to be grits, just plain old grits, Quaker instant butter grits. Each there's like ten. I think this is about maybe depends on where you are, three and a half, four or five bucks. You know how food inflation is. And there are 10 packs here. 10, right? Better get the old glasses. I have to wear them all the time now, not like when I was making the food videos before. I've been doing this for about a year now with my new prescription. So there are... It says it gets, gets ready in about two minutes, and that's true. It's very simple. I mean, they're just grits, right? You just empty a pack into a bowl here, a bowl of, um, of hot water. I think it's like a half a, a half of a cup. Let's, before I get all flustered and nervous, let's read about it here. If I can see it. Mm. Hot water as you empty the packet into a bowl and add a half a cup of boiling water. Then it also has directions for, for a microwave. It's funny they repeat them on the same instructions on on both sides. Look at that. I figured they might have used one side maybe for, for Spanish or something. So this is what it looks like. And there was a an eight hundred number, but. Today is Saturday, so they're going to be closed, probably. And I'll be making other videos, probably about other flavors of grits, and maybe other brands. So, there you are. And here's, here's what the grits look like. Okie dokie. I'm going to put some butter in these grits. I mean, uh, some pepper. They already have butter, but normally, if it was other kind of grits, I'd probably put some, probably put some butter in there anyway. But it seems uh, really ridiculous to put butter into buttered grits. I mean, they're kind of unhealthy enough. Maybe I can. Did I do, did I do this already? There's the grits and there's the box. And that's probably a thumbnail. Let's see. Yeah, they taste just like buttered grits. Mm-hmm. During my recent illness, grits would have been considered a more adventurous type of food, a more of a solid food, and there's really nothing to it because I just couldn't eat anything at all, and I lost weight. But I found that I still liked the grits anyhow. Yes, they're very flavorful. Someday I'll try some oatmeal. <coughs> Excuse me. But I like oatmeal with um, with raisins, a lot of raisins when I was growing up. Well, raisins have a lot of sugar, but I can put a lot of cinnamon in there. Maybe just a three or just a a few token raisins, but not the way I used to just just to pour the raisins in the oatmeal. Golly, Sergeant Carter, these grits are great. Holy grits, Batman.
This is the last of the of the birthday the party bowls I have. I need to buy some more. Mmm. These are tasty and filling. But they do get cold kind of quickly, so it's better to go ahead and and eat them as soon as you fix them. There you go. Should have eaten another bowl of this, really. Oh. I have to take my antibiotic. It's called. Metro <clears throat> Metro Nidazole. So I take one of these in, uh, every 12 hours. And it is probably the worst tasting pill. What? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong during a food video? <laughs> Okay, and you should take them with something because some kind of food or crackers is really a good thing. But let's go ahead and and take this. And Mom used to laugh at all the faces I would make when I was taking medicine when I was when I was younger. I made a big exaggeration about it. I mean, thank God for the medicine and the doctors and the scientists and the companies that make it all. But it's really an off tasting pill. And of course, I get the fusion daily in my in my arm for other antibiotics. I'm just loaded with antibiotics. Finish this, I would get a cracker, and they're really the best uh, to kill the taste of this of this medicine. How about the nutrition part of this? No cholesterol at all. Sodium is 15 percent, or is that 19? 15, which is good for me because I have low sodium. Uh, carbohydrates, of course, carbohydrates produce sugar, and it has has some of those. One good thing it does not have is sugar. It has zero sugar. And really it tastes good enough without the sugar. Then it has a bunch of other vitamins here. The main one that I care about is calcium, 8%. It has no potassium, which is good because I have a, a high potassium condition. It has a fo folate, that's good, 15%. Yeah, Quaker has set the, set the standard in grits for over a hundred years. Can help you help your family continue. Yeah. Anyway, yada yada yada. Ingredients is uh, degerminated white corn grits, salt, and some other things I can't pronounce. And this is distributed by the Quaker Oats Company in Chicago, but it does contain milk and soy ingredients for those of you who are are not very tolerant of that. But I think that's all we're going to do today. And I thank you for, for tuning in. And by the way, a lot of people offer me their, their prayers and support for my recovery from this uh, osteonecrosis of the jaw, ONJ and also for the diabetes which has come about at the same time. So hope you will subscribe and, and comment and you'd like the video. I should mention this at the beginning of the video. 
people already start clicking off when you say you're coming to the end. But anyway, I hope you all have a good week and peace out.